All right guys, it has been one year since I swapped to these three 12 volt batteries. I have changed one single thing this entire time, and that is this green wire right here. I got to thinking about it after I did it, because I did have it to this positive here, and then I later put it to that positive there. And then, oops, turned it on. My lights came on. I hope that's picking up. My lights came on. They did not work before. So, I'm not sure if this factory or this loom is factory because there was a six volt right here that bolted right there and it just connected right there to a positive. And so I just assumed that it completed a 12 volt circuit, which I'm still under the assumption that's what it does, but because that is a single 12 volt and it was hooked to two of them, I was sending 24 volts, not 12 volts, and that's why it was not working. So connected that to one battery and that is it. So since the last video, that's really all I've done. I did do, when I swapped it, I did a S1, S2 swap um, and that basically made, so it's in forward right now, but change it over that's actually reverse um, and that was part of the s1 s2 swap I had to do that because it just felt like I had no power uh, when I was in drive uh, so that's really it super duper simple swap took about 30 minutes why did I do the swap um, so if you look these batteries need water um, in these three holes right here uh, the previous owner did not put water in these batteries. Uh, so if you can tell, golf cart's not new by any means. Somewhere on here it says 2000 on it. Uh, so it's 21 years old. Uh, in any case, those batteries were from 2014, I believe. Um, so, you know, it's not a new golf cart by any means. But I decided to look up a new set of those batteries because I was not told the truth. I was told those batteries were only one year old. They ended up being six years old. So I looked those batteries up and they are rather expensive. Okay, so if you look, these are the batteries that I had in it when I bought the golf cart. These Crown CR235s, they are six volts and they are $179.99 each almost eleven $1 hundred dollars for a set of these batteries very expensive um, so i decided to see if there was another route to go than this and this is the only place i found that actually had that battery was these battery guys um, these crowns are on the more expensive side of of things so this is actually what i ended up going with is this uh 24 dc um, Walmart deep cycle battery um, 690 um, crank amps or marine amps I should say um, it was uh, $74.88 um, definitely worth it um, definitely a, a lot cheaper um, than the nearly $1,100 that I was about to spend uh, on the, the crowns and I only need three of these so uh, once you do the math, these are quite, quite a bit cheaper uh, than the um, Crown. So how do I like these 24 DCs? Uh, I really, really like them. Um, they're really good for what I need them for. Um, the only drawback that I really have is you don't get to go to empty. Um, if you see I'm already on the third bar so there's one two three four five six usable bars once it gets to about right there it's empty it, it just won't pull anymore um, it's it's really really dead uh, and according to what I've calculated each one of these little bars is about half a mile so half a mile one mile one and a half miles two miles two and a half miles three miles three miles is about all you get uh, 
reliably um, unless you're on completely flat ground and maybe going downhill quite a bit with not a much not much weight uh, on it uh, put a lot of weight on this thing and these bars go much quicker uh, than half a mile each um, it is way down on power to the floor uh, and that's it I don't know if you can hear the motor screaming it really don't want to climb to the floor it's really hating this right now about a half really hating this climb in this grass really hating it uh, but it made it but I really really do like these batteries um, if you can tell they are maintenance free uh, there's no water that I have to put in these um, you know I hooked them up and I plug in my original charger and they work um, those old crowns they had you had to fill the water up in them that's how they went bad to begin with is somebody did not put water in them um, so these are much 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 easier they don't look as good right now uh, simply because I haven't really uh, cleaned them up or anything and just kind of left them be um, but I would definitely do this again the only thing that I would change is I would go with this battery here um, this 2090 C uh, instead of the 24 DC they also have a 27 DC which is kind of in the middle of the two of them um, I would go with this one simply because it has more marine cranking amps uh, bigger battery more power it is a little bit more at $89.97 uh, but honestly probably worth it it is still not the $1,100 that the um, crown would cost you so you are still saving quite a bit of money um, just going with this uh, with this Everstart from Walmart uh, and you still only need three of these and they're still very reliable still don't need water just like the crowns um, definitely definitely well worth it that is the only negative I have is the pulling power of the golf cart especially up hills it just seems like it does not want to pull uh, but that's really it I hope that helps uh, if you want to do this swap it's a really easy swap it's one that uh, anybody can get into um, hope it helps thank you much Ha 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 ha!